brewery, a tap room, a restaurant and office space will soon be part of a warehouse revamp project that's happening on the city's east side. This will be happening in the Denver Heights neighborhood near Highway 37, just south of the Alamo Dome. Our Sarah Acosta spoke with the investors behind this project and she shows us their plans. Just off Highway 37 is an old 30,000 square foot warehouse sitting on Delaware Street. The concrete open space will soon house Viva Brewery and its tap room, a restaurant and office space. In addition, the building will also provide a free space for the community to use for meetings or events. Ross Ormond is one of the investors for this property in the Denver Heights neighborhood. He believes this project will bring more economic growth to the area. And I think what this will do is help the community be more engaged. When you first walk into the warehouse, this space will be a restaurant space. Right here, it'll be an outdoor courtyard. In the middle of the warehouse will be a space for the community and the brewery will be in the back corner. Bobby Jones and Michael Johnson have been brewing beer out of their garage for years as a hobby. The past year and a half, they started Viva Brewery. They have been looking for a space to call home. They say they are excited to be coming to the east side. San Antonio's east side is a wonderful and growing, thriving community that we want to be a part of. Um, the community has been incredibly gracious to us and very supportive. Orman says that even though the area might not look like much now, with all the growth happening downtown, he says the timing couldn't be better. All the, the development and revitalization that's going on with downtown, with Hemisphere, Hemisphere kind of extends all the way to the highway with the tower park that will be in the next phase lends itself to coming down to this part of town. And I think it's just a natural extension of what's already going on. Construction is set to start at the end of September of this year and Orman hopes the project will be complete by the end of 2020.